Hey, this is Matt Ware from Brody Precision. In this video, we're taking a look at the new Niagara 4.13. This was just released and a whole bunch of new features. So let's take a look. So Niagara 4.13 is available now for Vicon partners. If you buy your Tritium and Niagara from other brands like uh, Johnson Controls, Honeywell, ABB, it might take a little bit longer before they are available to you. They do additional testing for their software that's specific to them. Uh, on the feature side, we're looking at new operating system support. We've got support for the Jace 9000, uh, which is coming right around the corner. We've got support for containerized Niagara. We did a little bit of a video on an introduction of what Docker is and what containers are uh, maybe a month or so ago. Uh, we've got support for modern email authentication. Most email providers today now want you to use uh, this modern email authentication uh, instead of your just your email address and your password. So we've got support for that. We've got updated HTML5 views. So we've got a Niagara network view that's uh, available for you from the browser. And a really cool one is now the certificate manager is also available from the browser. We've got integrations uh, available for system logging. So you can export your system logs from a station or a uh, JSON or a supervisor. You can export those to an external log server, which is a uh, pretty common in a typical IT install. Uh, we've got support for unattended installs of Niagara. So you don't have to be there to click through the buttons to install Niagara. You just update this little configuration file and it'll do it automatically without even opening up a window. We've got support for Haystack 4 and then we've got a bunch of other things as well. So first off, our new operating system support, full support for Windows 11, Full support for Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 9, Ubuntu 22.04 if you're a Linux guy, and Windows Server 2022 is also supported. Then we've also got support for the JS9000 because that's coming here around October. Uh, 4.13 is going to be the lowest version of Niagara that's supported on the 9000. Because of the switch that they did from uh, QNX to Ubuntu Core for the operating system on the 9000. Uh, a little bit of a back uh, story information on the 9000. It's got a pretty significant processor upgrade. So we're going from a single core to quad core. We've got more RAM. We've got more storage. And we'll talk about this some more uh, within the next couple weeks. We've had a beta We've had a couple of betas uh, of the 9000 in our hands, uh, so we've had a little bit of experience with it, and we'll go into um, sort of the new features and, and what's available to you in uh, a video here in the next couple weeks. As I mentioned, we've got containerized Niagara as well, so that's an officially supported uh, Docker container for Niagara. The Docker container supports the x86 and ARM64 architectures, uh, and this also is only supported with uh, the subscription license for Niagara. That's a new feature as well for 4.13. Uh, this requires internet access from your container or any installation of Niagara that's using the sub sub subscription license it requires an internet access in order so that... Uh, it can phone home to Tritium's licensing servers and make sure that you're, you know, up to date and your subscription is still valid. We've added in some modern email authentication support. So this is the OAuth-based authentication that uh, Microsoft and Gmail specifically would really like you to be using. We did a video in the past on how to use the um, Gmail app passwords to sort of make use of the typical uh, email address and password setup. But the way that they really would like you to do this for a um, sort of what they would consider like a software integration with email um, is with OAuth. So you can see here um, in the uh, screenshot, the configuration settings that we are going to be using for that are a little bit different than what we're typically used to. Setup is a little bit more involved because of that. We have to 
use the API instead of just the email address and password. So we'll be doing a video on this here in the near future about you know what this looks like to actually set up. And we've got new HTML5 views, as I mentioned. So the Niagara network, uh, it never had a station manager view. So the station manager view that I think everyone's used to when you double click on the Niagara network, that wasn't available to you from the browser, now it is. And the same thing with uh, your certificate manager that was never available to you from the browser, but now it is. So let's jump into Niagara real quick, and take a look at what these things look like. All right, we're in Niagara now, and I've got two station connections brought up in my browser. I've got uh, a connection to a supervisor that's running 412, and I've got a local station here that's running 413. So in 412, if we just real quick go into our config, uh, go into our drivers, and pull up the Niagara network, you'll see it brings us right to the property sheet. It doesn't even try to show a... Uh, station manager view if we go over here to 413 if I double click on my Niagara network now we have our normal station manager view that we're used to where we can you know go in and add a station if we wanted to um, do a discover etc uh, also have a link to our certificate manager that's the other updated uh, view that we never had from the browser this is really handy because if you're working with an IT department that uh, has specific requirements for their certificates or they want you to use one of their certificates, now you can kind of give them a user and send them here and say, hey, you can import your uh, license and make sure everything's set up the way that you want yourself. So those are our updated HTML5 views in 4.13. Okay, the next piece that we've got now is uh, the system log export. So this gives us the ability to export system logs to a central log server. This is pretty common with large IT departments where they've got a bunch of servers that they're managing and looking over. Instead of having to go into each of those individual servers to look at logs and things, they'll export them all to a central log server so that they can get visibility on everything and see if there's issues from one central place, do uh, all kinds of uh, searches and that kind of thing on the data. So we've got that ability now from Niagara. Uh, you can get it from your uh, platform, just platform, platform administration, and then there's a new button here, system log uh, configuration. And you can set that up, as you can see, with all these properties. And what that gives us the ability to do is look at uh, platform, station, workbench logs, and as well as uh, station and security audits. Then we've also got the ability now to do unintended installs. This uh, lets you install Niagara without having to touch the mouse or the keyboard at all. Um, to do that, you're making what's called a silent.properties file, and that includes details about, you know, like what you want your system passphrase to be and uh, where it should be installed, what directory, and that kind of thing. Uh, we'll have more details in a future video of showing you exactly how to do this, but features there, and you can make use of it. Next bit is Haystack support. They've added Haystack 4 uh, tag dictionary, and this includes an action to upgrade your existing Haystack uh, tags to Haystack 4. Uh, just an action on the Haystack 4 uh, tag dictionary that you can add into your station. And for the all the other bits and pieces, there's actually quite a few. Uh, we've got, if you're a virtual point user or system database user, you now have the ability to do uh, multi-tier system databases. Um, and my understanding is there, there isn't much of a limit to this. So you could have uh, subordinates, under subordinates, under subordinates, and your system database could query all of those things all the way down the chain. What comes along with that is uh, virtual PXs and things are also accessible through those uh, multiple tiers. And we've also got an updated uh, video driver. So we've got better HTML5 streaming support and better uh, pan tilt zoom control support. Enterprise security stuff has been upgraded as well. So optimized uh, join and replication processes. 
Uh, I know there's some additional uh, new hardware coming in the security world as well down the road. Um, and then we've got some updates for Niagara Analytics. So supports for baselines, uh, more configurable, configurable settings, so colors, time periods, uh, baseline time ranges, and then also uh, significantly updated documentation for the Niagara, Niagara Analytics product. So that basically covers uh, most of what's available in 4.13. As I mentioned, uh, the Vicon version is available now, and we've got it up on BP Tech Center if you are a Vicon partner. And um, if you have any specific features and things that you'd like to see covered, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so and like the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.